Hi, we're at the English Poker Open, sponsored by RakeTheRake.com. I'm here with one of the entertaining commentators. How do you do it, hour after hour, day after day? How do you do it? It makes a big difference that we have this little trio, because this yeah. is what we had for the, the first year. Mm -hmm. And it just really works because you have an hour with Grub, and then an hour with Barney, and then an hour at the bar, and then an hour <laughs> with Grub, and an hour by. So actually, it works because doing it that way it stops you from being led astray because like today was mostly just me and Grub and that kind of the poker kind of you know, and the silly kind of goes like that um, but so to have Barney is great because Barney is like focused on the, the, the hand and I, I'm quite a keen poker player so actually it's a great learning experience for me right. so I'm entirely happy for that hour with Barney to be really <laughs> really you know I ask lots of sensible questions and then Grub comes in and then he's like a walking kind of pub quiz right. so and, and 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 initially that seems like quite an interesting thing and then after about nine or twelve hours of it you kind of just want to shoot him in the, the legs just to <laughs> just to get him out of the room um, so I don't know I guess that's why they pick us we just have the ability to just talk on because you can't just go here's the flop who right. is bet hits an ace there's a queen you've got to kind of be able to say he looks a bit like a guy from a cartoon I saw in 1983 <laughs> so I think they just need people whose heads are just good at going off but I think the most rewarding thing this year was very last minute we suddenly decided we should try and let the guys watching it get involved in the broadcast and that added a whole new dimension and we had some tech problems on the first couple of days which is a real shame but then when we got all that sorted the emails were coming in and yeah. it was like doing a kind of radio show because then everyone was joining in they were telling us they, what, what they wanted us to focus on and that made a big difference to have the actual viewers help shape the broadcast because again right. it just added like a fourth member of the team right. so there was me Barney Grubb and them yes. um, so and the poker was just of such a good quality that when you did want to focus on the poker, it blew your mind. Right. And when everyone was hanging about and waiting for the dealer to change, then we just had this enormous volume of rubbish to just talk about. <laughs> you know, there's no way you can do four days, you know, from two until two. Yeah. You can't just do 12 hours of broadcast and make it just normal. <laughs> Frankly, it just doesn't work. Now, we heard at the end you had Chloe come in. Yes. That <laughs> yeah, I'm not entirely sure who she was or why she was. Um, but probably the worst time to bring in, we were at our weakest. We'd lost Barney, who was right. like our anchor. Right. We were drifting across the ocean of, of <laughs> lunacy. And then they literally went, I know, why don't we add a complete nut job to the mix? Um, I've never met her before. She's a good friend of uh, Grubbs. Right. But again, I think the thing is heads up. Two good players, heads up, cards face down how much of that game is about the cards yeah exactly uh, so you can't go well let's narrow his range because they're just too good you yeah. know i can't pretend to understand how fabian's head works <laughs> so actually having her there i don't know if it was necessarily a good thing but it certainly made things different it definitely made things different so what's the plan any more commentary in the future um well, hopefully I get a repeat job here. It really depends. I mean, the, the boss is over there, so it really depends. I don't know if we'll be bringing Chloe back, but who knows? Um, yeah, I mean, I still continue doing slightly more straight commentary than this, but actually this is what I prefer because you kind of keep your brain alive. But I'm heading straight off to the WSOP to do a whole bunch of press stuff there. So, you know, now is the beginning of a really busy part of the poker calendar. So it rolls on now till Christmas and then hopefully, you know, come next September, we'll be back doing the uh, English Poker Open 2011. Well, thank you so much for keeping us entertained, and we will see you at the World Series. Thank you very much. Thank Please. you.